well, Jamie, after a hugely successful know, opening right? weekend, back at home now and looking forward to two, two upcoming games at the brewery field. Yeah, definitely. I think um, you know it was a, a really positive start. Um, you know, and it it sets us up nicely um, with the two home games. Uh, really looking forward to getting back at the brewery. Um, you know, I'm sure the supporters are on a on a good high, and they've got the buzz and the excitement that we have as a as a management and a squad. So, yeah, really looking forward to the game. Um, you know, it's going to be another tough test, different challenge to what we came up against last Saturday. But you know, it's another challenge we want to embrace, and um, you know, hopefully we can put on a good performance. You've spent a bit of time talking about it in your programme notes, but the connection that this club has and has always had with their supporters is, is something we can really utilise. It's a it's a weapon for us, isn't it? Yeah, of course. I think um, there was many games, you know, in my time as a player, and you know, certainly last year um, when I went into the management side, where they got us over the line, um, they got us back in the games, and um, they pushed us through games um, when they were. They were quite close and tight towards the end of, it, end of it, so you know the players really appreciate um, the support. I think you know the 50 that came down um, last Saturday were absolutely superb, and um, you know that result that we got them was was you know top draw. But it's important that we back it up this Saturday. Um, it'll be nice to get back on our surface, home surroundings, and like I said before, hopefully put a good performance on for them as well. In terms of your messages you're giving to the players this week, is it is it tricky in some ways because you want to kind of bull up last week and give them the confidence that that kind of result can give, but also you don't want them to, you know, relax a little bit and think it's all going to be easy. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, we've spoke at length, um, like we always do, in terms of our preparation um, about Tamworth and you know the threats that they pose. They're a newly promoted side, and um, they're always dangerous games. I think you look at Brackley last year. The start that they went on as a newly promoted team, and you look at Warrington on Saturday as well, and. Um, I think um, you know they'll pose, like I said before, a real different challenge to what um, Banbury did. Um, they're very direct, got some really good physical and effective players. So it's a different challenge for us. Um, we're well aware of you know what threats they pose, but um, you know hopefully we combat that and stick to you know our identity and how we want to play. And um, you know we will certainly take the game to them and um, hopefully get a positive result. It's what this league's pretty good at, isn't it? Throwing up different challenges and obstacles every week, you know, and it's it's going to be I suppose horses for courses at times. Yeah, of course, it's it's such a tough di division. There's there's no easy games. Um, I know it's a cliche, but there's there's no easy games at this level. And um, every week you're coming up against um, a different style, different identity, you know. Um, and and you've got to be prepared for that. And you know we've done we've we've done our homework this week. We've watched a, a lot of footage on Tamworth, and you know we're preparing really well from a tactical point of view. And um, like I say, you know we want to go into our home games, you know, and and, and really have the impetus and, and attack teams and have high energy and, and a real good intensity about us and Saturday will be no different um, but you know we are um, giving them the respect that they deserve newly promoted side who's done really well and um, you know we'll have to be at our best to collect three points and, and as you say back to back home games is an enticing prospect as well isn't it you know you, you want to get into the cut and thrust of the season and it's no better way than the game's coming thick and fast like this but it is just one at a time, I guess. Yeah, hundred percent, one at a time. Um, you know, we're not looking beyond um, Saturday. Um, I think when the final whistle goes on Saturday, our attention will turn very quickly to Southport. Um, you know, who we know quite a lot about, obviously, of previous years at this level. But it's all about Saturday. It's all about we, what we do on Saturday. We'll prepare well again tonight and and work on you know some tactical elements and we'll work really hard at, at certain areas we want to improve on from Saturday. Um, but like I said before, you know, we've we've had a positive start. Um, um, but we want to build on that momentum that we've created from last week's win. Team news-wise, I know you'll keep your cards close to your chest. I'm not asking for the inside story, but is there any, anything, anything that's going to be different from last week? Yeah, we've got a couple of players back, which is good. Um, you know, Keenan's trained through this week. James Curtis has trained through this week. Um, obviously, Galley's going to take a little bit longer. Um, he's got a quad problem and stuff. But yeah, we're a, we're in a really good place. We've got um, competition. I've, I've certainly got headaches, um, massive headaches. You know. Um, we've won three 0 last week and, and, and won quite convincing. But you know, there's real competition from the way players have trained, from the players that have come on the pitch and uh, made an impact in the game. So, yeah, there's a lot of competition. Uh, might be another sleepless night tomorrow <laughs> for me, Lewis and Andy. But um, you know, they're the headaches that you want. Um, we've got a really good competitive squad, a really tight knit together squad, and um, you know that's what it's about, and that's you know what gets you success and drives you on.